Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. We are going to attempt a little cold start this morning. On a 7.3 power stroke that I don't know if I've showed you guys. This is the world's worst power stroke, as we're going to call it. It is just beat on every corner. But, hold on a second, let me get this wheel turned out of our way. Here we go. Problem solved. So anyway, 252,000, which that's not really that impressive. Um, they they can get way up higher than that. It's a 7.3. Um, but as you can see, the dash, most of the front is gone. It's broken here and there. This seat is torn. They've got a homemade door handle, which conveniently enough doesn't open. They've sawed this part off for some reason. The window switches are backwards. You press it up and it goes down. You press it down and it goes up. And I know that's not right because the passenger side, when you press this, it goes down. But I don't know how much battery voltage we have and it has not been started today. And today is the first day that this fall weather has finally paid us a visit and it is chilly. So I'm gonna, I don't, I don't know which one of these is supposed to be the the wait to start light or whatever, but none of them are doing their thing. I have some almighty ether that we can use if it doesn't go. But we're going to give it a quick shot, and here we go. I'm afraid those batteries are going to get weak before this thing actually decides to start. So, I mean, I can try it one more time just for shits and giggles. We'll just cycle the key on, wait a few seconds, cycle it off, cycle it back on. Cycle it off, cycle it back on. I'll try it one more time. Yep, not gonna go. So, oh, where, oh, where is my Easter gone? There it is behind the seat. Ta da! Liquido. guys down Ruh row the hood latch is not popping there it goes got it now this is the fun part because the hood doesn't hold itself up so I don't know how I'm gonna do this just yet hold on Ugh. Set that down gently to get the stick. The stick that I can't reach from that side. There we go. Check out the pipe on that bad boy. This is also why it's the world's worst 73. It's just mismatched and it's rusty and the hubs are gone in the front. The front bumper had a custom, it had a custom bumper that was welded for whatever reason, so I'm gonna set you guys back down. Hang on. Just give me a second. Okay, and so to start this truck with the ether, you take that, you take my bolt loose right here. Don't judge. You take this, spray that down in there, and you put the bolt right back there. And then you hit it. Oh. On. Wait a few seconds. Fire in the hole. And there we go. Puffs out some smoke. And 
it's alive. charging up we've got a tuner in this truck so we can uh, hit this idle there we go oil pressure she's charging almost a little over half a tank of gas temperature still good and cold it'll stay there for a while but it's alive. This truck, like I said, is four wheel drive. All of these keys are because I lost the key and I needed a key and Fords are pretty good about anything working. So I've got this box right here that used to contain nothing but Ford keys. And George, asshole, drove the truck yesterday and was going down the road and slamming on the brakes and slamming on the gas and slid my whole box right off the console into the floor and knocked all my pretty little keys into the floor. So thanks, George. There, we'll set it to whatever that one is. George played with my seat.
go get some stuff done today. I don't know about you guys. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think about the World's Worth 7.3. This is a 97 model, in case I didn't mention it to you before. With whatever that pipe and crap is for a handle. Rat's nest in the vents. Ah, the World's Worth 7.3. Thanks for watching, guys.